What's up guys? We are here at Corvettes at Carlisle 2022 and we are here at the HPO slash Scrape Armor booth slash AWE booth. There's all kinds of things going on here, but the guys from Scrape Armor are here and they want to demonstrate how to install the Scrape Armor front radiator grill guards on a C8 Corvette. And of course, we had to choose one of the coolest C8 Corvettes. We had to get the C8R. We're about to install the radiator grill guards and it's some awesome quality stuff. So let's jump into it. They're gonna install, they're gonna answer some questions. So you guys can come by the HPO booth tomorrow and get this purchased for your car because you should have some protection for those grills. But let's get to the install on that beautiful machine. All right, guys, so here we are with Scott from Scrape Armor. He's gonna be doing the installation today, kind of Vanna Whiting this for us. So uh, he's gonna unbox one of the, the actual radiator grill guards here and kind of talk to us a little bit about what it is you get in the box. Sure, so on the top tray of this box is all of the precision uh, bent brackets for holding it into the car and attaching to the factory fasteners as well as the toolkit that comes with all of our kits and a detailed instruction manual that also has a QR code link out to an install video. Oh, so, so I asked you about that earlier and there it is in the, the top layer of the box. Yeah, yeah, and the toolkit's there for both DIYers or anybody who might want to take it out even after it's been installed to clean it or, uh, you know, some people put ceramic coatings on them and that kind of thing. Sure. Yeah, so in the bottom of the box, is our hardware pack and this has the uh, preparation material for um, installing the brackets uh, on the lower end of the grill inserts and then it also has the actual quick release push pin fasteners that hold the mesh screens to the brackets gotcha uh, and then there's some alcohol prep pads and stuff in there too and of course we're going to see all this in greater detail here in a minute guys but just kind of an unboxing real quick yep. and then um, here we have both of the mesh screens uh, themselves uh, this is the driver's side it's got the front button included um, and the uh, isolation bushings that isolate this from the brackets to keep the kit from rattling once it's installed. Awesome, Look, we're gonna do the driver's side one, I think guys, so we'll get that one done and leave the passenger side one undone so I can kind of give you a little bit of a before and after kind of look. But we're gonna film Scott kind of installing this thing so you know what you're in for. Now, on Scrape Armor's YouTube channel, they actually do have some instructions on how to install this, but this is more of a, a real life situation, I guess, so to speak. So like I said, guys, these are being sold here at Carlisle this year. So if you're at Carlisle, come by the Horsepower Obsessed booth, which is right across from the Chevy booth and grab yourself a set of these. Um, you can purchase them straight from me and it's the same exact kit you would get straight from Chevy. All right, so I guess I'll get done here with you. Yeah, first thing we're gonna do is just remove the under tray. And that bit comes with the kit. Yes, so yes, it does. Yeah. you do not need to have any special tools that comes with it. And that's going to give you access to the, uh, the under grill area where we got to get to. And then these screws as well. That's going to be where the, the part actually comes off for the radiator grill install. And these trays are put on at PDI by the dealer. So sometimes you'll see the fasteners sort of intermix, but they're always either gonna be this uh, torque style bit that comes with the kit or a seven millimeter hex head like this. So both bits are in the kit. Yep, both bits included guys. So again, you do not have to have any of your own tools. Now we're switching over to the hex for the last couple of these. And then there's one last hidden one that's right in here. And in this case, that one is back to C15. So, so you might have to switch, switch it out a little bit, but it just depends on how the dealer chose to install those fasteners. They're all going to be one of the two of those. So, so wow. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in there. Definitely would have benefited from having one of these earlier. So anyway, that gives us the access we need. I'm going to pick off some of those bugs. Good <laughs> size. Oh, right look there. at that. Wow, that's a that's a big monster thing. So he's up underneath there, guys. You can see we are only on race ramps right now. So we don't have the vehicle up in the air. There's not anything like seriously involved with this. As long as you got a set of ramps, you can do this. So Justin, inside the hardware pack is a, um, is a couple of alcohol cleaning prep pads. What these are specifically for is cleaning off the areas where we install the lower brackets. And in this case, there's a identification sticker on the lower outside corner of the inlets. It's just a paper sticker that comes out of the 
sub vendor factory that makes this part for GM. Yeah. So in order to really get our bracket to stick down, we remove that sticker, and, and uh, you can sort of pick off the sticker by hand, and then uh, use the alcohol cleaning pad just to prep the surface to set the adhesive. Gotcha. So it's a little tough to see, guys, but he is on the bottom side of the radiator grill. And uh, once he pulls this sticker off, I'll show you what it is. But it's basically a white sticker with GM part number on it. You pull that off because something for the install is going to stick right there. And in order to make sure it sticks perfectly, you don't want it on there. Right. So we get that off and then we take and we just clean that area and remove the rest of the adhesive from the sticker. And then we also clean the second area that the bracket is going to attach, which is right here between these two fasteners. So. I'm also going to wipe down that part of the plastic just to get any mold release agents or any debris or dirt or whatever off of there. So the next step is removing the three fasteners that are that hold the horizontal divider in the inlet uh, on. So that guy For right this there. Horizontal. Yep. And if this is a carbon fiber or carbon flash piece, it's going to have the torque style fasteners behind it. And if it is a plastic piece, um, it is going to have the seven millimeter hex heads behind it. So, Again, both the same tools that are yep. included with the kit. So you'll have both of them. One of the things we found when we were doing the first installations on these, uh, the prototypes was that it's a really tight area to get into. Yeah. And we had a bunch of different kinds of quarter inch ratchets in the shop, but all of them were a little too big to be comfortable in this tight area. And so we actually supply this ratchet, which has a female style receptacle as opposed to a male style head and is short enough that it's easy to get into that spot. So then we're just gonna pull those fasteners out. You don't have to remove this part at all. You just pull the fasteners. Yeah. So again, guys, that tool is included in the kit. And I actually did this once before with uh, adding a carbon fiber piece to it. And I had a heck of a time with it. So I know exactly what he's talking about, but he's going up from behind because they're bolted in from the back forward, right? Yep. Yeah, so he's got to go in through. You can see his hand. He is releasing that screw right there. Now there's three of those. You don't actually have to take that part off, but the scrape armor is going to use that for a bracket later. So once those screws are out, we'll move on to the next step. The rectangular tabs face forward, and they're clearly labeled on the board which one is the right and left side for the car. But okay. um, these are carefully bent to match the OEM CAD data, so you can see they're not 90 degree angles, so they sure. fit in flush. Yep. So. So he's gonna go from the back side up through, guys. I'm gonna try to film this as I can. It will fit right into the same spots you just removed those screws from. And then you're gonna put the screws back in, which is what he's doing now. And as you can see, we added on three little tabs there that will help hold the scrape armor radiator drill guards in place. So just tighten up the stock screws and your bracket's done. We're just gonna um, put some adhesion promoter on the two pads where we're going to put our two lower brackets. So those are those areas that we just prepped with the alcohol pads. And yep. So the same area you pulled that sticker off, there is an adhesion promoter in the box. Again, everything is included here, guys. It's all all one package, but uh, he's just putting that on the bottom to make sure that whenever they stick the tape on there, it adheres as well as possible. And uh, the kind of tape that they use along with the adhesion promoter ends up being the same strength as a rivet, correct? Yeah, absolutely. So it's not something that's gonna ever blow off or anything, which is awesome. So this is the tape right here. Yeah, and these are keyed into the molded sections of the parts. So this small key will drop into a notch where it can't be misaligned. Yeah. And then this abuts another one of the tabs in the back of the bumper skin, so it too can't be misaligned. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is just kind of a demonstration purpose. That's not the actual radiator from here, but just to show you what he was talking about, about the key part. Right, so this is this is a, a notch that's in the mold for the for the OEM part. So our part will simply drop into that notch where this key drops right in there so you can't can't get it in the wrong spot. So yeah. And then the other one will butt right up against the, the other bumper one, part. Right. It butts up against a bumper tab that when it's right installed here. in the car is right here. Yep. So. so you literally cannot put these in the wrong spot. It will guide you right into the right area after you take off that tape backing. It'll stick right on there and then your last two tabs are done, which will ultimately hold that grill onto the back of that grill. Yeah, so then this outer tab just butts right into the tab that comes through the grill insert from the bumper skin itself. Yeah, so guys, we're underneath the car now. You can kind of see what he's working on there. Right on the bottom side of the 
the actual radiator grill from outside. You can see that tab right there is one that he stuck on in those places we just showed you. And now the grill itself. So these, as you can see, are like pre-bent or pre-formed, I should say, to the backside of the actual C8 radiator grill. And it's gonna go in from the bottom. It's probably better to be filmed out here so we can see what ha what's happening. So you see he's got that in place already. And I, I actually like the looks of these things. Like they actually improve the look of the C8, it's weird. There's less silver radiator and more of a black look to it now. So now what he's doing is just sliding that up there, locking it into place with the push pins, which of course are also included. Yeah, so Justin, some of this stuff that we try to take a lot of extra care with are like the areas around the front button are yeah. all rolled and softened. Yep, so you don't cut yourself yep. on anything. And then, you know, when, this is such a beautiful car that when we put them in, I try to align the uh, the um, notches in the fasteners themselves so that they uh, so that they sit all in the same direction. I typically do them horizontally, and then you literally just click it into place like that. And yep, just like a normal pop clip. You guys know GM products. You already know what those are. So a lot of the use of the same kind of things that you're going to find on a GM car. And then lastly, this one right here. Again, just a just a clip. Just hold it from the back, pop it in the front, and then lock it into place. Oh, sorry. In the bottom clips, we actually install facing forward the opposite way. So yeah, the just point, so they're a little easier. Yep, the points fit forward just like that. And then those are just the tabs on the, the bottom part that we were just taping on a second ago. And then that that's pretty much it, right? Yep. That is an ins how, much, how long has that been? Not even... 15, uh, 20 minutes 15 max? minutes maybe, yeah. Oh, sweet. So Matt was timing it. 11 minutes and 30 seconds to do one side. So obviously Scott's a little bit of a professional here. So maybe we had 10 minutes to that. You're looking at 20 minutes max to get that installed, which is really cool. It looks really good. Of course, you can tell at a certain angle here that it's done because that is darker than the stock one. has a little more of a, obviously, radiator look to it and if we get up close to this radiator you can actually see where this one doesn't have a lot of miles on it already could have been using these a while ago so over here this one is already installed real clean and what i really like is that that i'm literally pushing on this thing and it doesn't want to go anywhere now i don't know if you guys have seen the other ones but if you're pushing on them the ones that are zip tied they're flopping all around in there making all kinds of noise these are definitely the way to go so Again, we're protecting the car. It took 11 minutes, which is probably some sort of record if I had to guess. So after he gets this one done, we're all finished up. I'll come back out here and talk to you a little bit more about the process. But honestly, this side is exactly the same as this side. So I'm not really gonna make you watch that all again, but it is definitely something you guys should be doing to protect your car. And like I said, these are licensed by GM. So you're not gonna lose your warranty. And the car is going to perform exactly the same as it would without them, only you're going to be protecting those radiators. But as you can see, guys, it's not really a super difficult install. He was able to get it done relatively quick. And since he obviously knows what he's doing, that takes some time off. But at the end of the day, you can get these done in probably between 30 and 40 minutes yourself. Just get a set of race ramps or some sort of ramps to get it up on and you're set to go. Passenger side is now done. You can see the hexagonal pattern in there or honeycomb, I guess. Uh, and it's a direct match to the, well, we can't see it on this one because this is a convertible, but it's a slightly larger but same shape as the the uh, area in the rear of the coupes that will allow heat to come out. And actually, that, nope, that's a convertible. Nope, that is a coupe. Let's check this one out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So it's the same kind of shape. So it maintains that same GM style look. So that right there is basically the exact same shape, only slightly smaller than the stuff from scrape armor here so that right there yeah i like it so like i said guys if you want to stop by here check out uh, scrape armor it is being sold at the horsepower obsessed booth right across from chevy this is scott from scrape armor this is matt uh, you, they will be here tomorrow as well if you want to meet either one of them stop by grab a set of radiator grill protection for yourself make sure your c8 stays looking as good as it possibly can matt Thank you for assisting with the install. And uh, yeah, well guys, we'll catch you in the next upload.